Disgusting. Ranger is the world's most powerful supercomputing system for open scientific research. The dedication ceremony is the public announcement that Ranger is in production and ready to handle the world's most important and challenging science problems. Ranger is a supercomputer designed by Sun Microsystems and powered by AMD microprocessors. It has nearly 16,000 quad core processors in it, meaning it has almost 64,000 processing cores. This makes it about 64,000 times as powerful as the average person's home computer. Supercomputers are built to attack the largest and most challenging scientific problems by aggregating tremendous CPU power plus memory and disk so that you can hold a very large problem in memory, do an enormous number of computations and write the results to disk. This is especially important in fields like astrophysics, environmental science, uh, petroleum engineering, uh, material science, uh, even designing new drugs. Ranger is a national resource and we already have researchers from around the country using it productively for computational science research. But it's very important to the University of Texas that we competed for the right to host this system and support it for the next four years. It enables us to get unique expertise in computational science and to attract the best and brightest researchers to the University of Texas at Austin because they'll have special access to that system and to the expertise needed to use it effectively. The largest systems that we've had access to have varied from a few hundred gigaflops up to a teraflop, several teraflops, uh, 10 teraflops, and only most recently about 50 teraflops. So now we're looking at almost an order of magnitude increase from the kinds of machines that we've been doing our research on uh, to, to, to Ranger, which is 500 teraflops, half a, half a petaflop. To put into more concrete terms the kind of ramp up in power that Ranger offers. I mean, this is a system that is almost an order of magnitude more powerful than anything that, that researchers have had, uh, have had access to on a regular basis over the last several years. So to put into, in, into more concrete terms that factor of 10 increase, you have to think of making trips to, to Europe from the East Coast in, in 45 minutes. So, so many of the, of, of the grand challenge problems that face society are supercomputing problems. And by investing in this new generation of petascale computer, we have a chance of making greater progress on, on these societal problems.